Welcome to Highline Excel 2013 class video number 34. Hey, if you want to download this workbook for week six, click on the link below the video, go to our class website. Hey, we've got to talk about subtotals. There's a feature inside of Excel that will allow us to take a region column after we've sorted it, and it will automatically insert a row and do some sort of calculation on whichever field we tell it to. Subtotal, so I want subtotal for east, south, west, midwest, and not only that, but when we turn it off, the data set will be restored back perfectly to its original state. Now, subtotals, what are we doing? If we want to subtotal region, we sort and then we add up all the sales. That's adding with one criteria or condition. So there are alternatives to subtotals. By all means, we've done some ifs many times in this class. It's a quick and easy formula to create. And there we have our subtotals for the four regions. We also have seen how to do pivot tables. And actually, next video ahead, we'll dive right into more about pivot tables. Those are two alternatives. But let's look at subtotals. All right, the most important step, as we mentioned last video, is you got to sort the column first. Because what is subtotal going to do? It's actually going to insert a row every time it sees a change in data. So if you don't sort and you have a huge data set, it'll blow up your computer. It would want to put a insert a row and add up all the sales here and then here because there's a change between west and midwest and then down here east and then south. So that's why it's so important to sort first. I'm going to click in a single cell, data, and there it is. I'm going to do A to Z. So instantly we have our east, midwest, south, etc. Once we've sorted, now we can go to data, outline, subtotal. And there's three major parts to the subtotal dialog box. At each change in, that's where you want it to insert the row. So it's looking not through the date. We want it to look through region and find out when east turns to midwest. So I say region. That's where it's going to insert the row and then add the calculation. What kind of calculation? Well, we have 11 options. These are the same functions you'll find inside of a pivot table. We're going to select some. Add subtotal to. That's which column do you want me to add? Or in, in our case, we're adding, but you could do other calculations. I'm going to check units, sales, and cost of goods sold. One, two, three. So it will insert one row at the change in region and then do three calculations. That's it. Click OK. And just like that, we get an outline over here. We can collapse by clicking the two. And just like that, we have a bunch of railroad tracks. Now we need to highlight the columns and point between and click and drag. So instantly, we have this outline. We can collapse and see each one of the totals and the grand total. We can uncollapse by clicking the three. And now let's scroll down and see exactly what happened. Look at that. It inserted a row. It added calculations to each one of the columns we asked and add east total. I scroll down here, midwest total. Now, this function here is the subtotal function. And there are, actually, I have a sheet ahead where we'll look at what each function means. One is average, nine is sum, and there's a bunch of others also. So you can see it added automatically all of these formulas for us. Again, the idea is you can outline and collapse. So it does have a big advantage over some of some pivot tables that, that you can look at the data, right? So if we're comparing and contrasting, well, certainly this is quick and easy if we just want the actual totals. Pivot tables are even faster, probably, if you know all the keyboards. But subtotal certainly cool with this collapse. I have my nice little report here, but if I want to see the data points, I simply click the outline three and instantly I have all the data points and adding with one condition. Now let's click two to collapse our report. We also have these pluses. So if I want to just look at the data for Midwest, I click on the plus 
instantly I see all the data just for the Midwest. That is so cool. I'm going to click the minus to recollapse it. So certainly subtotals, wonderful. You get your adding with one condition, and you have the option to either see the data or not. Now before we revert back to our data set, oftentimes you want to copy and paste your subtotal report. So I'm going to highlight in Control C and go over to ST Paste. And in cell A1, I'm going to Control V. Now immediately we're going to see a potential problem. Control V, it copies everything. Now it copied all the data and our, the new label inserted by subtotal and also our subtotal formulas. I'm going to control Z, Z, Z. Sometimes that's what you want, all the data and the subtotals. But other times, we don't want that. We want just the report. I'm going to hit Escape to turn the dancing ants off. Escape. We have to learn a new trick for subtotal. Instead of copying those hidden rows, I want to highlight and copy just the visible cells. And there's a feature on the Home ribbon. Over in Editing Group, Find and Select, Go to Special. And here it is, Visible Cells Only. Now when I click OK, watch what happens. You can kind of see just the cells that are visible are highlighted. Now I want to show you two other ways to do that. I can highlight here the keyboard for Go To is F5. Go To and then Special. This go to special dialog box actually has a bunch of amazing things. You can go highlight just constants, just the cells with formulas, just empty cells, conditional formatting, data validation. But I want visible cells only, and then click OK. Not only that, but because subtotals are a common thing that people do, there's a keyboard for select visible cells only. It's Alt semicolon. So I'm going to Select this and Alt semicolon. And just like that, I've highlighted just the visible cells. Now when I Control C, the dancing ants are dancing around the visible cells only. So there's a difference between copying visible cells and copying the whole data set. The whole data set has dancing ants only around the outside. Now when I go over to ST Paste, and Control V, I've pasted just the visible cells. That is awesome. Now we have our report. We can go back to our original data set. I'm going to hit Escape to turn the dancing ants off. I click in any single cell. And to revert back to our original data set, we simply go back up to Subtotal. And in the dialog box, we click Remove All. And instantly, we reverted back to our data set. That's pretty amazing. Subtotals, and it reverts right back. Now, in this example, we just did subtotals on region, but sometimes you want to do multiple columns and then multiple subtotals. So let's go over further ahead in our sheets. We want to go to ST2. Now here, we want to sort sales rep within region and then have an individual subtotal for each sales rep within each region. All right, so the trick is sorting, as we talked about last video. We're going to sort this column first, A to Z. So sales rep is now sorted. We come over to the major sort region. We sort this one if we're using the buttons last, right? A to Z. So now we have Chin, Franks, so sales rep sorted within region. When we come down here, we can see Chin starts again at the top when we get to Midwest. So here, when we do subtotals, we're going to actually want a subtotal right there after Chin and then right there after Franks. Now, the way this works is you have to do it in two steps. We have to actually add the subtotal to the major sort first and then go add a new subtotal to sales rep. All right, so I'm going to click in any cell in the data set, subtotal, at each change in, region. Sum, I'm going to add it to the units and sales. So that's where the row is going to be inserted. That's the function. 
these are the columns that are going to get our calculation. Now notice, replace current subtotals. That by default is checked. Well, we don't have any subtotals, so it doesn't have any effect, but let's click OK. And just like that, we can collapse and see we got our subtotals. I'm going to change the column width. But now, I would like to add new subtotals. So for East, it then would list each sales rep with a subtotal. All right, I'm going to click in any cell, subtotal, and at each change in sales rep. That's the only thing we're changing except for that. We do not want to replace current subtotals. By the way, if you had copied and pasted your report and now you just wanted to do a new one, then you would replace current subtotals and it would. But now we want to have a cumulative effect, have these two subtotals working together. So I uncheck that and click OK. And now there's a fourth level in the outline. Look at that. There's the total for Chin. There's the total for Franks, Galt, Pham, Sue. And then there's Smith's total and East. That is amazing. We can use our collapse buttons. Three. Oh, that is amazing. Look at that. There's the region total. Each one of the totals for the sales rep. That is absolutely beautiful. If you want to go down to just two or one, we didn't see that last time. That shows you just the grand total. Isn't that amazing? So I'm going to click on three. Highlight from region, cost of goods sold. Our keyboard to select visible sales is Alt semicolon, Control C. Now I'm going to come over back to the sheet, ST paste. And right below this, I'm going to go Control V. Change the column widths. That is amazing. Look at that. So now we can go back to ST. And we want to take a look at this right here. This is the sort of report that if you really weren't interested in looking at all the data, because I mean, that's the beautiful aspect of subtotal. We can look, and if there's any anomalies or things we want to investigate, like Frank's total, then we can click on this and go look. So that's the beauty of subtotal. But if this is really what you wanted, then a pivot table would be much easier to create. Because notice, what did we have to do? We had to do one, two different subtotals dialog box. So when we come back in our next video, we'll talk a lot about pivot tables. All right, we'll see you next video.